السلام علیکم ایوری ون ہوپ یو آر آل ڈوئنگ گڈ ایز وی آل نو دیٹ وی آر آن یونٹ تھری لیسن نمبر ٹو ساور گریپس اینڈ دس از دا سیم اسٹوری دیٹ وی ٹوک موسٹ آف دا ٹائمس بفور اینڈ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ریڈ اٹ اگین سو لیٹ می گیو یو کوئک انٹروڈکشن آف دا اسٹوری اٹس اباؤٹ اے فاکس ہو رومز اراؤنڈ ان دا گارڈن اینڈ سڈنلی ہی سیز اے وائن آف گریپس آن دا ٹاپ آف دا ٹری ہی ٹرائز ٹو کیچ ایٹ ہی ٹرائز ٹو کلائم دا ٹری But in the end, he fails and says that the grapes are sour. So this is the uh, quick introduction of the story. The summary is also written in the lesson planner. What you have to do, you have to underline the hard words and write down their meanings and learn the meanings from the word bank. Let's move forward towards our first question. So our first question is, answer the following questions. Number one is, did the fox really want the grapes? He re- did he really want the grapes or not? And the answer is that yes, the fox really did want the grapes. Why? Because he was eager, he was excited and he tried to snatch them. He tried to catch them. That's why he really wanted to have the grapes. Our next question is, why was, what was so attractive about the grapes? Why were grapes looking so attractive? What was the reason? It was because the grapes were rich, ripe and purple reddish. The grapes were rich, they were so much, they were ripe and they were purple reddish in color. That's why they were looking so attractive. Question number three is, which words are used to describe the grapes in the first verse? In the first words and which words are used in the third verse? Now we are going to find out what were the words that were described in the first verse that were describing the grapes. And in the third verse. So the answer is in the first verse, lovely, rich, ripe, and purple red grapes. These were the describing words for grapes in the first verse. And the third verse was mean and common fruit, sour. These were the describing words that were describing the grapes in the third verse. Okay, let's move towards the next question. What is the moral or the lesson that the poem teaches us? This is one of the most important questions, so listen to the answer very carefully. The moral lesson the poem teaches us is that people who cannot get what they have been trying for, uh, what they have been trying uh, for, quite often say that they did not really want it anyway. It means that those people who are trying to achieve something, who are trying to get something for a long time, in the end, what they really say, they said that they did not, they did not really want it anyway. They did not really want it at all. So let me translate it again. That those people who are running away from a long time, who are running away from a long time, who are running away from a long time, کسی چیز کو جو ہے وہ حاصل کرنے کی کوشش کر رہے ہوتے ہیں ایٹ دی اینڈ جب وہ چیز ان کو نہیں ملتی ہے تو وہ کیا کہتے ہیں کہ وی ڈڈ ناٹ ریئلی وانٹیڈ ہمیں ویسے بھی اس چیز کی ضرورت نہیں تھی دس از دا مورل لیسن وی آر گیٹنگ فرام دا اسٹوری